God bless you. This one is on actually actual stories of fun finds. Um, my latest one, a wild tomato plant. <laughs> it was in the corner of this parking lot, and it's it was growing among cactuses, so that was not fun. The cactus did get me a couple times, <laughs> but um, yum. These are really good. So um, whoever didn't like their tomato, I'm through. <laughs> threw it away thank you because it has seeded and now and now there's fun tomatoes at the corner of this parking lot so if I ever want just a couple tomatoes I know where to go now so I picked a few left left some for others there's still quite a few probably still like 50 more to go so um but yeah they're really tasty um my pillow one that one was so fun um I got it and um just makes me laugh to this day there's this narrow canyon road here in LA, very twisty, quite steep, and a lot of sections, you know, it's just, you know, the mountain and then the cliff. <laughs> and I had an errand and I had to go up the road and there was something in the road. And it's like one of those roads where it just makes you cringe when there's two roads on the car and then you have these asinine bicyclists that thinks it's like some like exercising like just pathway when, when it's actually a roadway. So then you have cars and bicycles and then there's something in the middle of the roadway. So on my way back down, I stopped. There was just enough room for me to pull off in this one area. So I'm like, I'm going for it. <laughs> And there was this guy in a pickup truck, which had like within two seconds showed up and saw him getting out of my car. And I was just like, oh, woman, what are you doing? But he stopped and put his flashers on. The next car was um, a security car. So um, he put his lights on and then everyone stopped because it's a very busy road. So um, they let me go get it safe and sound. And it was a pillow I would have never gotten. It's like has a surfer and a, and a palm tree and probably be way more than I would spend on a pillow more than likely but I didn't have anything that size so that was like really fun and I just had someone else give me a new pillow I have a house now <laughs> on a pillow can't live in it but I have a house now <laughs> oh what a joke but yeah so there's been fun things and just like gifts from people this top is from I'm um, a sweet lady down in South Central LA and um, I got some guy gave me this knit hat and it is perfect for nights like when it's like 50 40s 30s 30s I use like my heavy duty hat but um but it's just this cute little knit hat which I would have never thought of getting and it just works out perfect for me um, and I have stopped I do stop to get debris and clothes out of roadways I would like to stop more often than I do but um, but I do stop and one time on another mountain road um, which had a really nice pull off and wasn't dangerous whatsoever um, when I was going up there was stuff in the road and on my way down it was still in the road so I stopped and um yeah it wound up being this really nice shirt and it's like something I don't have anything like it and um it's perfect for winter time because it's heavier and it's just I just don't have anything like it it's just sort of fun and there was also like this um like really heavy duty sweaty like sweatshirt like a zip hoodie which I gave that away and when I find stuff like I'll keep it or wash it and give it away I've given away quite a few things I find so and even the lady who gave me this she gave me um far more I'm like no no this is enough and she kept giving me stuff so some of the shirts the long sleeve shirts because I'm like they're too short like <laughs> like it's just like my arms are too long for these sleeves like this doesn't really work and she's like take them anyway so I wound up sharing those with another gal which was just she was so happy and I had socks that someone didn't want and they're just like you know just share them with whoever you come across so I gave some of the shirts and um the socks to this one gal who lives on the streets and she was really so appreciative and thank you thankful which was really nice because some street people like cock attitudes and just they just are like whatever and it's like really whatever yourself but um so yeah it's, it can be fun when people share and when people when you get to share especially with people who appreciate it so um so yeah and I don't like things in roadways I think it might be a I hate litter and um B I grew up in an area where I swear it was like a Bermuda Triangle of sorts um, Coast Guard. Um, 
yeah, it was like a Bermuda Triangle. Like people just zoned out and we had a ton of accidents when I was growing up. So I'm always just like, keep the roadways clear. Like, you know, if you're not a car, get off the road and just don't litter or anything. So yeah, I have a couple signs too that <laughs> I'm picking up from roads just because they're silly. It's not like I need them, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm just like, where am I supposed to fit this now? What am I doing? But. But it can be fun. So, um, so yeah. I mean, if you can save money, that's great. And if the clothes are like new, and I really appreciate it when people do share. There was um, one time, there was a group of us hanging out, and all of a sudden, the one guy's like, "Hey, come on the side of the car, quick!" I'm like, "What?" He's like, "Some gals just dropped a bag off at the front of the vehicle." I'm like, "Ooh, okay." And they left this whole like big like garbage bag of like clothes that are absolute perfect condition and fresh, freshly washed which is really sweet because no one wants dirty clothes or stained clothes thank you very much I've gotten between uh, I've actually been given like nasty stained clothes and like for some reason like men's shoes that are like quite large it's like okay I guess I'll be passing those on thanks like if you have trash throw it out don't give it to like a poor or homeless person. Like that's not nice. So, and I've gotten food that's like seven plus years expired. It's like, yeah, I don't have a bathroom. So please give me expired food to the point where it's like discolored. It's one thing if it's like by the expiration date or within a year, but crap, when you're like seven years plus, that's not nice. That's just not nice. So, but it's nice when people can share. But it was fun because these gals left this whole bag of clothes and I and they were like my size too. <laughs> so I picked I went through and picked out a few and then I like, you know, put it back so someone else could have some fun finds that day too. So it's just really nice when you have stuff that's in decent condition and you can share. And I've been really surprised at how outfits come together because I don't I don't seek to like make things match and yet things just um they come together it's hilarious i had a wedding i had to go to and it was a country ranch ranch wedding <gasps> oh my gosh that was an experience and a half i've been to two ranch weddings in my life they were both simple but one was simple elegant country and the other one was just like Seriously, you didn't like break out the cow pies? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, oh my gosh. The second one was ultra special. Um, so yeah, I wound up getting a skirt at a secondhand store for one dollar. It was brand new, still had the tags. It was awesome. I love that skirt. I still have it. It's it's starting to see its better better day, but I still really like it. And um, the elastic hasn't quite given completely out yet, so I might keep that up for another year. <laughs> But um, but yeah, but it was perfect. I brought it new, and but I just sort of wanted something more fun. And it was a country wedding, and I was told that you know anything is like likely gonna go. And oh my gosh, anything did go at that wedding. It was it was a special wedding. <laughs> but anywho, I, I did want something a little bit more fun than that. And um, ironically, I was at my cousin's. I haven't seen her for years, but the first couple years I was um, my car was my home. I stopped by a couple times and I would spend a week here and there um, every now and then. And the one time I was there, I'm like, oh, that's a pretty necklace. It was laying on their countertop and they're like, it's yours. And I'm like, say what? She's like, we had a party and like someone left it and we called everyone and no one will claim it. So it's yours. I'm like, okay. So I took it and um, yeah, later that year I had the wedding to go to. My mom wound up, up finding this dress in an estate sale for a couple dollars and um not only did it fit perfect she wound up sending it to um because the friends that i was going to for the wedding she sent it to them so they could give it to me but um so i get this dress and oh my gosh um the colors in it matched the colors in the necklace <laughs> And I mean, my parents and my cousin live on opposite sides of the country, and I mean, they don't know, 
like I was like yeah I got a necklace okay but yeah this dress um match perfect and when I was at my cousin's her oh my gosh her daughter has so many clothes and um she wound up giving me some clothes she no longer wanted so I had like a little like wrap from my cousin and then the necklace and then um the necklace that or the dress that matched perfect um <laughs> from my mom it was hilarious so um yeah it's I just find it really amusing especially ever since I've had health problems I really I've done more used clothes that's for sure and when I have shopped it's not at the nicer stores so <laughs> it's just like I don't feel overly comfortable spending too much money you know when you have so little coming in and you can actually get a lot of nice used clothes like you know they're like like new for a couple dollars it's like for real so like like yeah if someone else wants to pay retail that's fine with me so so yeah and I've had a couple guys every now and then um find jewelry and they'll give it to me which is nice it is a pistol the one ring um it's this pretty pink stone I really really like it it's fake but everyone thinks it's real and it's like no no it's like turns my hand green but it's a really thin band so um and it's a really pretty stone so I will wear it it's just a pistol because people think it's real and it's like mm -mm. nope so but yeah and I've even gotten coolers my two coolers um one lady she was getting rid of it which I've had it for quite a few years I have it like in my back it sort of like level stuff out so I have a little bit more room when I sleep and it just works out and then I can store stuff in it and um it's it's seeing its better day it's cracking up a yin yang <laughs> I just I was cleaning and organizing stuff this morning and I sort of scooted over and sat on it and it was like cracking and I'm like oh you don't have much more life in you and I really wanted another one I was like oh lord I need another one and in a pretty short order um there was just this like awesome cooler which fits perfect in my vehicle and it's more sturdy and it has a, be a far better seal on it um at someone dumped it off at um this trash can and I'm just like no one's around and it was just dumped out and it's quite clean and I do take like what is it the, like those wipes that are supposed to kill everything so that's the best I can do because I don't have no um don't have a kitchen sink and running water in here so I just have those like antibacterial wipes that's that's my kitchen sink so but that's worked out really good and the seal on it is much better so on the rare occasion I can get ice or decent food I it keeps far better than that. Um, and it was really nice one time. Um, someone actually dropped an umbrella, like a sun umbrella, beach umbrella, off at my car. I don't know who it is. I just heard a clunk outside my car, and um, I was gonna. I was. I don't know. I was doing something, and before I went and laid down, I decided to see what that noise was <laughs> outside my car. And um, yeah, that was like the only one parked here that day. And but someone had come just for a second, and they just drop this umbrella off and it's like stitches in two places have sort of given off but it's a really nice umbrella it's perfect on really hot days it's better than the one I have so um so happy whoever dropped that off at my vehicle thank you so much I still have it and I really enjoy that umbrella especially it's a lifesaver on hot days but um but yeah I have found a little bit of everything it's been a hoot over the years so um yeah it's sort of fun and it's sort of sort of an adventure and sort of um definitely a practice in being grateful because it's really easy not to be grateful and I could be really angry about a lot of things and um but I try to just to be grateful especially when I have nice clothes especially when I haven't paid for them or they just appear <laughs> but yeah it is I am very grateful for those who, who do share nice things, whether it's with fellow homeless or, you know, homes to homeless. And I actually had a pair of pants. They were so nice. I found them and I gave them to a lady who's actually has quite wealthy. <laughs> but, and she's like, oh, my daughter's going to love this. She always says I have the most worst jeans. She's going to love these jeans. She's like, I'm not going to tell her the backstory of how I got the jeans, but she's going to be so happy that I have these jeans. So, um. But yeah, I don't know. Sharing can be a good thing. But alrighty, I'm going to go. The Lord bless you and keep you. Bye-bye.